Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Venkata Krishnan, Professor of Medicine. So, we will be discussing the MCQs in cardiovascular disease and respiratory system. The first question is diffusion lung capacity for carbon monoxide is decreased in all of the following conditions except one of the important question, but it is not a very tough question DLCO. All almost all the conditions it is decreased except when there is a alveolar hemorrhage or pulmonary hemorrhage. Hemosiderosis it is increased. Other conditions fibrosis, bronchial asthma, congestive cardiac failure, other conditions interstitial lung disease all will produce decreased lung capacity for carbon monoxide. It is used as if whether there is pulmonary hemorrhage. So, what are the conditions you get pulmonary hemorrhage, good pastures, GB. So, what happens is there is a glomerular basement antibody against the glomerular basement which is also in the alveoli. So, it that causes alveolar hemorrhage, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage along with rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. It is not a good prognosis. So, good passes, bad prognosis. And other conditions where there is alveolar hemorrhage is rare except there is a component of hemorrhage in various metabolic disorders with iron deposition. There are rare conditions all other conditions DLCO is decreased. This is a scenario a 60 year old non smoker working in a boiler factory has come with dyspnea. Clinical examination reveals a massive pleural effusion without shift of mediastinum. The most likely diagnosis. We will assess this scenario. He is a non smoker working in a boiler factory, has come with dyspnea. What happens in a massive pleural effusion? The full hole, full pleural effusion is there, collapse. What happens is trachea is deviated to the opposite side, trachea is shifted to the opposite side along with the mediastinum. This is what happens. Here, there is a massive pleural effusion without shift of mediastinum. We will assess what are the causes. What is a mesothelioma? Mesothelioma causes asbestosis related exposure. It is due to mesothelioma is due to asbestosis related exposure. What is is there are pleural plaques, multiple pleural plaques initial stages which can turn into a plural malignancy, mesothelioma. The association of mesothelioma is grade 4 clubbing, it is HPOA where with grade 3 clubbing there is swollen and painful wrist joint that is grade 4 clubbing, hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy. Will pulmonary tuberculosis cause massive pleural effusion? rare. It can cause moderate pleural effusion. If it is massive pleural effusion, always think of a lung carcinoma. Silicotuberculosis, usually what happens is silicosis is a peripheral lesion. Brick industry and other industries the patient can have silicotuberculosis. When there is silicosis, silica dust in association, there is more chance of tuberculosis what happens is mediastinal lymph node, there will be egg shell calcification, egg shell calcification of mediastinal lymph nodes. So, now coming to squamous cell carcinoma, well, how does it produce? What are the various types of bronchogenic carcinoma? Starting with adenocarcinoma, squamous cell. Oat cell carcinoma, 
or small cell carcinoma, large cell carcinoma, anaplastic. Anaplastic is rare. So, out of this, adenocarcinoma is specifically in association with a scar, any healed lesion. So, anybody do not think that malignancy is only with smokers, he is a non smoker. Malignancy, when there is a healed lesion, even long standing tuberculosis, there is a scar may rarely turn into a adenocarcinoma and all these scars are peripheral, peripheral association that is very important. Then mesothelium as I told you it is peripheral association, squamous cell carcinoma can occur in non-smokers, usually central lesion. Small cell carcinoma it can be central and the peripheral with the common future about a small cell carcinoma is more of paraneoplastic manifestations and the most common paraneoplastic manifestation is endocrine and endocrine can be Cushing's, it can be an association with SIADH, it can be association with various neurological manifestations which you know we all uh, learnt what are the paraneoplastic manifestations. The paraneoplastic manifestation in association with squamous cell carcinoma it is hypercalcemia. Large cell anaplastic carcinoma rare carcinomas very rapidly progressing with poor prognosis. Now when there is a central involvement what happens is the mediastinum is also affected bilaterally and shift of mediastinum is not possible that is why when you, there is a carcinoma, mediastinum shift, squamous cell carcinoma, mediastinum shift is not possible. Again, what are the conditions where this is a pleural effusion, massive pleural effusion, but there is no shift of mediastinum? Whether there is a mediastinal, that is what we discussed, when there is a mediastinal fibrosis, where mediastinum cannot shift to any side, already existing. or there is a compensatory one side pleural effusion, the other side also has some volume loss so that the trachea is not shifted, mediastinum is not shifted.